All right, let's start. I think this last one, I, th I think this might be the last act for it. I'm not too sure. Oh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? I think I think this is the last fight. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park. Uh, fight. I mean, I think this is the last part to the fight. Mr. Yang. Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you. And my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you, if my meager strength is required. I don't think- I mean, your strength is meager. Oh, okay, so it is a boss battle. Ice, lightning, and physical. I got a team for that, right? Let's do a quick lineup. So I guess I need to build well. I have... Okay, so let's do my main DPS first. I should have built you more. I don't have built fully to withstand a boss battle. That's my main thing. So I could take her to it. Because she could withstand a boss fight and provide pressure. Or I could go double lightning on this with physical or that. Not I could bring well just for his AoE. This could work. We're back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. All right. Power Ranger lineup. There's a spotlight, but I don't see it. Also not forgetting the nameless of the renowned Astral Express. The music's pretty Welcome good, too. Astral Express. You're late. And this... Unsung guess. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. Likelihood, this stage and his identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. <laughs> uh, of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because he's the only 
only one who saw all three homicides. He is the key to proving that the family's death does not exist in dreams promise is nothing but a sham. Three homicides? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here. In Clock Studios theme park. A truly grand death. You. 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 And you. All of you are going to die. And it's all because of... Mr. Stella. You will become the personification of death. One. <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panicone. Bam! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC Queen's navigator. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You want to bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet with you. I like this. I'm betting it's that really interesting. Sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. I came from the wastelands of Sigonia. For just 60 red copper coins, people paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me on the golden sands. But the sun could not kill me. Quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. <laughs> I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Why does life slumber? All because we are not ready for the final breaths. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Am I the final boss? Nor do you have any reason or grounds to! Dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, cool. It's ready to unveil right. your cards. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. Oh, and fate's been the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death for rebirth. Oh. For the Amber Lord! Oh, this is, that is cool. What? Alright. Let's see who has the last laugh. Oh. The game begins! Hmm. Alright, let me see here. Don't worry, it's just a scare. Let's begin. 
Oh, he just shut down ults. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. And they have high. Okay. Free will. You know nothing of the weight behind. Survive or be destroyed. Right. There is no other choice. Let's just go with echoes. I weep for the departed. It is my fault. There's no time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. These are devils. I'll crush them all. Down from above. Leave it to me. Stand down. Oh, Follow my charge. Skill point. You, it's thunder. You missed me. Don't worry. That's great. That was classic, wasn't <laughs> it? Prepare for some. Another journey begins. <sighs> Still waters of oblivion. There's no time to lose. I'm scared. Stay put. Don't worry. Let's it's begin. just a scrape. <laughs> you got some of his dice again? Stand down. All right. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I weep for the departed. This has a lot of fragrances. It takes a fall. Time for the master's. Show no mercy. Destiny for oblivion. Follow my charm. Conflict is fearless. I'm waiting for some time. I should build my other support no more, honestly. Come. I don't Anyways. use any of my buffs. Is that it? Prepare for some you dare attack me? Later in game, I'm really don't trying to see him just paying the great. price for not actually using buffs. Here, it's thunder! Let's begin. You know nothing of the weight behind. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Everything I've got. Oh, wait, hold on. Keep that Destiny for a blade. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. I can do this. Gotcha. You recover so quickly. Stand down. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Time for them. Show no mercy. Down from above. Hmm. This is just a little bit of Kapos. Power though? That's insane. Still water to the I'm gonna hold everyone back again. Pretend to eat me. Don't worry. Maybe I should have bought Jin Lu for the damage to do. Kill me all. All or nothing. Bring it down. Whoa. 
does a lot. Of, he can do a lot of damage. Thousand things. The loser's one of them. Here, the thunder. Free will, or was it? Time for some hardship. Hmm. I'm scared. Stay put. Hmm. I don't need. I don't need to heal. So. These are devils. I'll crush them all. I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. You know nothing of the weight, be it survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Before you do anything, there's no time to lose. You've got <laughs> what? They'll keep throwing money on the table. Okay, let me see this. Abilities, expenders, mad party, heavy shackles. Uh, he's like in the—he's in the Hildy character right now, basically. Wait, what was the story? Bud. Ah, uh, so this is the cornerstone's power. An emanator of preservation? What? All right. Show no mercy. Let's begin. Stand down. Prepare for some. <laughs> Follow my charge. Here is thunder. Straight put. Leave it to me. It's all or nothing. Oh, no way. There's no time to lose. What the hell was that? Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. Just in case. Don't worry. It's just a scrap. These are devils. I'll crush them all. No more time. Time for some hardship. Stand down. I'm gonna like picking at his like defense. Follow my charge. You is thunder. This guarantees G1 to be like always over the uh what's it called? I'll skip. Don't worry, it's just a scrape. Let's begin. Two. It's all or nothing. Moha, I'm not. I know she won't die very right easy because she has a lot of defense. Don't worry. It's you just know nothing of the weight behind this power. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. <laughs> Time for the master. Show no mercy. The ministry of that. Stratagems? Stratagems. Okay, that's actually a good game. Conflict is hideous. 
Prepare for some thunder. Kill just me. Leave it to me. I feel like it's always gonna be a low roll. A thousand thanks. Here is thunder. Oh, I was really carrying this team right now. Like, look how close she is coming to death right there. Don't worry, it's just a scrap. I used that in the wrong order. Well, at least I still get the attack button. Show no mercy. You gotta be shitting me. He's just spamming this at this point. Stand down. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. Protect me, protect me. A thousand thanks. Conflict is pitiless. Holy shit, I'm not. I'm not mean to use her all. This is literally hits nobody. Unless. It takes us all. Okay, Akron's safe from me now. Alright. Free will, or was it? You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I weep for the departed. Yes. It is your fault. Time for the master stroke. Show no mercy. A foregone conclusion. Prepare for some. Let's begin. This this skill. Yes. I'm getting so annoyed with this skill. There's no time to lose. Here is thunder. It's all or nothing. All right. <sighs> Time for hit? the map. Show no mercy. Don't come any These are devils. I'll crush them all. Conflict is pitiless. Are you scared? Put. Protect me. Protect me. Don't worry. It's just a scrape. Down. Never. Another journey for this. Leave it to me. Stand down. Follow my charge. Here is thunder. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. It's all or nothing. I'm fine. Counting all in. He's really turning that car right now, man. You know nothing of the way. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. You can't resist all the effects. Alright, uh, let's see. Both of will be fine, but those two won't be. But I do need to give both of a heal. Let's begin. I can avoid having to heal them if I can hit this. Here is thunder. I weep for the departed. Fucking number. It is a fault. And then if I just. 
Because Wall Hall is something to have for next turn. So if I just hit her, she be fine. And she has the highest defense here. So she can take damage. Alright, so. Free will, or was it fate? You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. So we're in old South here. <laughs> Show no mercy. I weep for the departed. Every hit is just like one percent. What? Oh, yeah, that was the two last two was two percent, but still. These are devils. I'll crush them all. There's no time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. If I hit him with well, that was, that'll take like probably like 2% or 1% off of him. And then he's gonna just like clean up. Ah, oh, so close. Ooh. Four. Follow my charge. Here is thunder. You know what's just guaranteed to win right here? I mean, less damage as possible would be still viable. It's all or nothing! Yeah, I found dead. Expansion was this. <laughs> Niggas being better than Gilgamesh. I know you'll match my wager, right? No way. You're leaving? <laughs> this looks so nice. Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pentacle, what do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Even if that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. They mostly become a part of the shadow. Your eyes. Am I the same? You still have a strand of color, but not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the nihility's end. Oh, so I was right. To mourn the departed. Oh, that looks so cool. Like rain, to swell the crossing stream. As the tide arrives. 
arrives, leading you back home. That is so... And if your hair was just turning back to normal, yes. Uh, what is this place? Uh, a gigantic black hole. And see, uh, have I have I succeeded? Oh man. Okay, now let me just continue this. There's no pausing. Welcome to the sad world. What? Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Abjin have. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you ask for us. We will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Damn. hiding her identity but the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone they have no face no form and even less of a will to speak the nihility envelops everyone equally only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther tainting themselves with more nihility that's all <laughs> that's all my friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ajax. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here. Before moving on to our own paths. <laughs> it seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. This looks really nice. I don't know. Damn. Now that you've accomplished your goal. I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's that person's identity, isn't it? 
I see you're in the know. Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacony, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. And lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penicone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. Damn. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy, both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stelron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the Abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that... Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet.
All right. <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? As so, why are we oh, born shit. into this world? If it's just to die. I don't think this and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. What, so the nihility the path of death? And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said, sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life slumber? Because we are not ready for the final rest. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. That looks amazing. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. Doctor's advice, the impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. What a nice friend. <laughs> then I shall get going. I wish we could see what his sister looks like. His mom and dad. You're leaving? Or Gaiathra. You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle. And I will hear the call of Gaiathra Triclops and know that it is time for me to go and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Is he just foreshadowing his death? Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakabasha. And to make them proud. Mm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. 
For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. Please show what Gyathra looks like anytime soon. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together. <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Keeping your blood eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. He's just my favorite character in game. I can't deny that. Oh man. <sighs> the light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise, and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then... Let's fulfill our duty, and start harvesting. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine, and I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. I know Jade comes out three banners from now. Or two. Yeah, two banners. Whose POV is this? So, 
There is only one method that I use. This is to show you. Damn. Uh -huh. I already knew, but still. All that I am. Is Venturing dead? Wait, wait, is he dead? Labyrinth like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties... ...will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> Scoundrel. Punk. Drunk. Hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic! You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony Festival. Isn't that right, my brother? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and then stole away? 
This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? Hmm. <laughs> Damn. You know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Damn, what? Well, backstab him. Well, being in front of him. Newsflash. Petaconi's Charmony Festival has entered its countdown phase. Accompanied by Clocky's TikToks, after 12 system hours, this grand celebration will commence with much fan... How'd he get on board? I already told you. We can talk things out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fluffy. I really have something urgent to attend to, so I had no choice but to resort to asking this favor of you all. Since you already know what you're doing, I'll also have to remind you of its risks. Hey, partner, what's with the hostility? I thought pulling this thing out was just a way of saying hello. For the last time, state your identity and purpose. My name's Boot Hill, and I'm a Galaxy Ranger. A Galaxy Ranger? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Did you think we all went extinct? <laughs> well, that's the price you pay for being off grid for too long. The righteous heroes of the hunt would never hijack the Astral Express. <laughs> I ain't hijacked anything. What, chatting with someone while holding the gun is considered a hijacking? Yeah. <laughs> it probably is. Pardon my frankness. But there are plenty of rumors in the cosmos regarding the Galaxy Ranger's current status. And none of them are pretty stories. I have a hard time believing you. Oh, this is hilarious. The tale that this bunch of fools spin is getting out of hand. There's even a bit about the Galaxy Rangers being turned into gibbons by Dr. Primitive and they're in some valley screwing around on swings of course i know you won't believe me which is also why similarly i have a hard time believing that you're the real nameless see the bullets in this gun nine millimeter an eternal classic i may need the astral express's help right now but if you're an imposter just like that one <laughs> And this bullet might just end up in my head. I can't allow myself to be exposed to danger. That's just the way it goes. So, you all have to first prove yourselves. Huh? Where are you going? Hmm. Recognize this? <laughs> it's a... Uh... Budger, the Jade Abacus of Ally and Oath. The CN Joe really gave this to you guys. Hmm, model Fudger? <laughs> this is the Jade Abacus gifted to the Express by the CN Joe Lo Fu's general, Jing Yuan. Its presence on board serves as the CN Joe Alliance's official recognition of the Express. Is that enough? <sighs> Not bad, kiddo. I'm pretty sure Don Hunt would be ordered to the these tentative. sprawling stars. A gentle squeeze is all it takes to rustle up a whole legion of cloud knights. Now, I reckon that'd be one budging sight to behold. Hmm. 
Now it's your turn. Maybe it should swing for Blue Hill. Galaxy Rangers had the spotlight shown on them. We ain't equipped with such fancy gadgets. But I've been around the block enough to know the way to handle these types of situations is easy as pie. All right, then. Feel free to toss any questions my way. Let's see if my answers can't turn your trust. If your gut tells you otherwise, still ain't too late to show me the door. And why would I play along? If I truly am a real Galaxy Ranger, you stand to lose nothing. <laughs> All right, then. Tell me. What kind of organization are the Galaxy Rangers? Ah, <laughs> oh, my friend. This question is a hard one. I don't think I can even consider us an organization to begin with. Everyone's on their own fated path along the hunt. With their own resolute sense of righteousness and not so... ...welcome among such so-called universal values. Hmm, this reply does not instill trust. It only makes your predicament more... ...precarious. I'm guessing you're gonna ask about some form of shared faith, right? But us Galaxy Rangers... ...don't need that sort of thing. What brings us together... ...is a shared bottom line. Never bully the weak. Never kill the innocent. These oaths aren't some lofty beliefs, but the fundamental bottom line that one must never cross as a person. As Galaxy Rangers, we strictly adhere to the bottom line. When someone crosses them, the hunt's vengeance will surely come knocking. And in this moment, the other crucial meaning of bottom line comes into play. As long as you don't cross it, you're free to do whatever you please. You catch my drift? Hmm. Second question. Why do you seek trouble with the Astral Express? I already said that I seek no trouble. I must go to Pinacone for a matter. But I don't have an invite. And I can't even enter the family's hotel doors. If only I could borrow the Nameless's identity. The entire cosmos knows your guests of the family. Uh, aren't the Galaxy Rangers also esteemed guests? Well, oh, you've hit the nail on the head. This is why I'm here. It's fine if I tell you. The Rangers are pursuing an imposter. A son of a nice lady posing as one of us. She's on Pentacone right now. My informant is a memo keeper. She's the same as all mimetic organisms, uh, appearing one moment and gone the next. Uh, she scares the fudge out of me. Still, she gave me some vital info. That Galaxy Ranger imposter. Who is it? Is that the third question? Is it a hard question? It isn't. Just that you might not believe me. That person calls herself Acheron. And according to our informant, she could be... ...an emanator of nihility. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> That's what I said. Ah, don't worry. When I first received the news, I had the exact same... I like his fit. It's tough. IX never gives anyone so much as a first glance. And that's perfectly normal. What reason would they have to bequeath strength unto mortals? Then you must know that emanators can also conceal their own identities, which... ...for many people... It's better that way. Otherwise, there'd be wanton bloodshed across the cosmos, or even, perhaps, turning their back on the path they're supposed to follow. I had the good fortune of running into an elation emanator. Its appearance was no different than that of those clowns. If it weren't through sheer luck that I got it drunk, I would have never known of its eminent status. Even in the purest hunt. You'll find the Sienjo Alliance under the spotlight and Galaxy Rangers lurking in the shadows. Paths are inevitably concepts created by people and exist in planes beyond our understanding. 
To reckon that nihility emanators don't exist, well, maybe we just ain't nihilistic enough. <sighs> so, do you understand now? Your companions are in danger, and it's pretty harrowing. If you don't want to believe me, you'd best send a message to them. But I'd advise you to move fast. We don't know what's happening in the dreamscape or how much of what the memo keeper said is true. And that Acheron, who knows what she intends to do. So what about adventuring, though? I'm curious about that. Man, this is going to be a rather long episode. I thought adventuring was the final boss battle, but it's not. I don't intend to do anything. That's not up to you. Did you know? People who come to the land of dreams for the first time, they'll subconsciously stop to reaffirm that they're still walking on solid ground. And then they will unanimously raise their heads to gaze at the sky. Be it reality or dream, staring at the sky is instinctual for humanity. Since the day that the golden hour was completed, it's always been there, watching over every single night of decadence. But now this night sky has been Mercilessly severed, died with the mist of nihility, and this whole event happened within the course of a single slash of a blade. A single slash of a blade isn't really accurate. It was actually two blades, just that the second one was faster. That's not. Kind of is the point. Many guests who weren't supposed to be invited have gathered at this banquet. Even if the harmony is all embracing, I have no choice but to show some of them the door. For the sake of Panacone and the peace. The planet of festivities has no place for you. A puppet of nihility. Those who live in the shadows do not bear the right to tread the illuminated stage. Speaking of living in the shadows, there's probably not much difference between us. It's only polite to reveal your true self, at least when speaking to others. Panacone's dream master. That's, That's just another reason that you can't stay. Whether you believe it or not, this is the real me. We are one. Are those some of the employees? Is this the unity that the family espouses? My mortal shell has long since dissipated. The Oak family's 107,336 offspring are now my eyes, ears, and mouths, spreading joy across dreams when required. And in times of essential need, exiling evil from this haven in my stead. From the sound of it, it seems like you're asking me to leave, Panacone. I am glad that you're an understanding one. Alas, I'm not asking. If you think you can. Are you threatening me? <laughs> I ended it with a period. It was a statement, not a threat. 
Knowing who I am and still showing such malice. You're not the first, nor will you be the last. This scene played out many times before. And usually, when faced with my questions, most people retort, why can't I? The result has invariably been that they can't. You are confident. But be reminded, the family is forgiving, but not weak. The cords of the harmony extend across worlds. If you do not comply, when the blade is unsheathed for even a hair's breadth, you will never be able to escape the eternal centurion's wrath in all of your lifetime. 137 individuals. That is how many heathens I have exiled since I became Dream Master. Among them were those who once severed my wings, and those who immolated my body. And here I stand again, about to add another mark to the tally. And you will die. I mean, all of you will. Damn. <sighs> but that won't come to pass. I'll do as you ask. I'll leave. A wise choice. I wasn't aware there was a choice. To you, that surely is the only option. Please bear in mind, you and Penicone are of different worlds. Those born on a far bank cannot seek solace across the river. Leave and never return. The radiance of the planet of festivities is overwhelmingly bright, luring in tricksters, wrongdoers, and criminals. But even the harmony itself will never Welcome, the self-annihilator of nihility. And even more so, when this self-annihilator heralds the destruction of everything. Your strength is obviously a gift of the sleeping and shapeless, immeasurable and fathomless, like a tributary spawn from the abyss that brings death and sin to all. Akira, a befitting name. Bro, just jealous. And Take it from someone on the other side of your so-called river. You know better than I do that Panacone has already deviated from the Harmony. Whatever your intentions may be, I foresee only one. Its future holds nothing but nihility. Just like all the worlds that have drowned in their shadow. From Robin's point of view. Oh, wow. No, the mouth is moving. Oh, I swear that was no movie shoot. So many chips fell from the sky, and I even caught one of them. But it vanished in an instant before my very eyes. Excuse me. Are you talking about the Clock Studios theme park incident? Hmm? Yeah. What about it? it... Oh, Miss Robin, am I seeing things right? <laughs> no need to worry. I apologize for any inconvenience caused to your delightful dream journey. What you just mentioned about the chips really piqued my interest. 
Would you mind providing more details about the incident? Oh, it was just those chips you normally see everywhere. The green ones? They fell from the sky as if it were raining. And then those chips simply disappeared. Uh, it appears to be the dream sim tech the Iris family has been developing. Huh? Miss Robin, you mean those chips were all part of a performance? B but I really... Shh. This technology hasn't been made public yet. It was originally planned to debut at the Charmony Festival, but it seems it's been leaked. Can you help me keep this secret? The raining chips were supposed to be part of my act. Oh, I see. Then it all makes sense now. I'll do anything to help make the Charmony Festival a success. Thank you. As appreciation, I'd like to give you a token gift. Bruh. Oh. Sparkle? This button is... What? Press it at just the right moment in the celebration. And there could be an unexpected treat in store for you. All right. It looks like there are other guests who are also confused. I'll have to excuse myself. Please, enjoy the dreamscape. So many people talking about it. This commotion at the theme park definitely made waves. All right. Wow. So, the scavenger? Oh. Oh, man. Okay. I think that's all the time I have for today. Um, I hope you all enjoy. I'll see you all later. This was so great. Well, I'm really curious to see if I've been streamed is actually still alive because yeah he just got one tap by Acheron but is he actually dead is my real question and why is Sparkle going around as Robin why is the Dream Master trying to kick out Acheron even though he knows Acheron's gonna come back and then, will Don, will Don Hunt actually come in the store with Blue Hill on the team? I would like to see that fight. Hopefully. We get to see more. And I hope you'll enjoy, and we'll see you later. Bye.